Morning YouTube. Engineer Boy 100 here. Well, I was on my way home from the store yesterday and my brakes went out. Just gone. Nothing. I had to limp home and use my emergency brake to be able to stop. Turns out I had busted a brake brake line. Right here. Let's see if you can see this. Brake line right here just busted on me. And so I decided to change them all because this is the original brake line from when the car was new in 1984 or 1994 so I got these uh, new stainless steel brake lines by DNA motoring right there got them off of eBay and the build quality really really looks good and even though this little mount bracket here is plastic it's very substantial so let's go ahead and do a little video magic Get this car jacked up, wheels off, and start changing all four brake lines from the rubber to stainless steel. Okay, kind of like magic, there the wheels are. All, well, not all four of the wheels, three of the wheels are off. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this last one off with my Ingersoll Rand half inch drive cordless impact this thing is amazing and that's why I saved this last wheel to show you how this thing is just awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how this guy takes the tires off and it's more powerful than a lot of air driven I've got both check this out effortless I love this thing. It is a lifesaver, and I never pass up an opportunity to plug and promote it. Because you can take off harmonic balancers and crankshaft pulleys and everything. It just saves all kinds of hassle. There's no cord, and you don't have to have a compressor. So, just thought I'd share that. Now, we're going to go step by step. And I'll show you how to take off the front and the back. brake lines uh, they're a little different so I will do one for, for the front and one for the back it's gonna be the same on the other side so I'm just gonna kind of set this up oh this is not good I think I need a higher yeah a good angle like so and then you can see better so I'm gonna try and put it about like this yeah, I'll put it about like so on my tripod. Okay, so before we get started, I'll show what tools you need. You only need about three tools. You need your 10 millimeter um, brake line opening wrench here that it goes over the brake line. And I will show you how that's used. This little guy here, 10 millimeter. You need a 17 millimeter. You may not need this, you, you shouldn't need this if everything's put together correctly because uh, the little bracket holds the uh, the brake line, but if not, this is the size that will hold it to counter the, uh, the little brake line wrench. And then for the clips, you can use a regular piece of pliers. I use these little needle nose pliers. You can use, you know, anything, vice grips or a, a um, adjustable wrench, whatever. You, you have I can just grab the clip and I'll show you how that works too and of course you need your replacement uh, brake lines so let's get started on the rear first that's the one that failed on me so we'll change that one out first uh, and then we'll do the front and then that'll be it um, once the lines are changed though you do need to bleed the air out of the brake lines so I was gonna have my wife help me you can have a person help you by pressing the pedal but she didn't get up so uh, she said she'd get up after I went on my jog, but she didn't. So I'll show you how to use a little vacuum system and you can do it on your own by yourself. If uh, you have a wife like mine, they won't get up and help you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is use your little wrench and loosen the nuts. So this part goes over the brake line and then you just go on and turn it counterclockwise like so. That one's loose, same here over the line and 
see now see how that one is moving a little bit so it's not quite in there correctly so that's when you would use your uh, 17 millimeter to hold it so it doesn't turn so it should be up in there but it isn't let me get this on there hope you can see to hold it for me and then get that on there there we go and that is step one next once that's all of loose you can take your uh, in this case me I'm using needle nose pliers and there's a little clip here you just slide it off you know here so you can see it slide these little clips off see and the other side like so here's the other clip and now you can just by hand I mean it's all loose now you just by hand you loosen this little break the metal brake line and the other side same thing hold that so you can't see it turning but it's pretty straightforward and then before all my fluid leaks out it will drip a little bit you can just take your new line and put it right on you just put that right on start it by hand like so get my hand up so you can see it all right and in this case I am going to need to use the wrench because this is an aftermarket unit and it's not going to fit in there like so if I can get this my hand out of the way but once you get that started you can uh, tighten it with your little wrench and then uh, and that's it so now we can do the front you do want to put your little clips back on because they do have a little slot in there that holds this so it doesn't move around. So you put your clips on like that. Hold your line in place. Do the same here. Push it up in the bracket and then I put the clip on there to hold the line. Now we can do the front. Okay, so now we're going to do the front uh, brake line. And again, these are the tools you need. You need one extra tool on the front, 14 millimeter, to take uh, the nut off of the caliper itself, and then there's a mount bracket that you will have to take a loose, and they are right here. It's like a 14 millimeter bolt right here on the caliper, and then there's a 14 millimeter mount bolt right here on the strut that holds the line so that it doesn't um, we'll move around and get rubbed and then there's the the clip and everything else up at the top so now that you've seen everything you know what I'm going to be doing I can set it up and take the front brake line off and replace it okay once again the first thing I'm going to do is take a loose the top 10 millimeter this little 10 millimeter one here but see how this goes over the line like that and then you can get on the nut. Go. Take that guy I'll lose. Then I'll take the two 14 millimeter bolts on the bottom side I'll lose. Remove the clip and replace the line. So that should be loose. Take that loose my hand. Comes out pretty nice and easy. There we go. So there's the top all done. So now let's look at the bottom half. All right, so now we have the two uh, bottom 14 millimeters. See, am I doing this the right way? No, I'm not. Let me hit it up. Should be tapping this with a hammer. We go get a hammer. When I say tap with a hammer, I mean tap, not bang. So I'm just going to tap it gently. Like an impact, and it just gently takes the screws. And that's how you don't knuckle bust. So here we go. I don't think we're going to need to. This is going to be all that tight. Let's take this a loose. Like that. So we get the line off. So these are the two 14 millimeters. Get these done. Kind of 
Get this so you can actually see it. There we go. So this is the little mount on the bracket on the strut. So we'll take this off. And then we'll go back up to the top and take the little clip off. There's only one clip on the front. So there's one 14 millimeter, the other 14 millimeter. Uh, and then I'll go up and take off that clip. Hi. All right, so I'm gonna grab that clip now, like so. Ta-da, see, there's a clip. And now we should be able to take everything off. So let me see what I can do here at the top. It might be a little bit stuck. There we go, that's off. The bracket's off. And let's see what I can do down at the bottom side. All right, so we're gonna get this. 14 off the caliper. Oh, look at that, nice. And then the whole thing comes right out. So now, all we need to do, and there's a little copper washer, so you wanna make sure that you either get a new one or you reuse that one. Sometimes they're reusable, they'll still seal. Best practice is to get a new one, but sometimes uh, you can reuse it. So, I, I'm gonna reuse mine because it looks pretty good. Here, see the little washer? That seals, so you wanna make sure you get that on the outside here, the part that goes up against the caliper. Put that on, like so. Yeah. Right, fumble fingers here. I dropped the washer, so now I gotta play. So there we go, like so. Now it's towards the up end and get it started. Oh, come on. I should I'm gonna cut some I should cut some of this out so I look like I know what I'm doing. Can't get the screw in. Can't get it started. But I'm not gonna cut it out. I don't want there to be any false pretenses. And, oh, come on, please. Please. Go in. Wow, there we go. That's going in. And actually, I lied, there's a, there's a washer on both sides. Washer on both sides. <coughs> so it's two washers, the ceiling. I'm gonna get this. Uh, is the new mount, it's a little plastic mount, so that goes, that's going to go in here somehow. So, somehow. And then up here, we're going to put the, uh, the top in because it's dripping a little bit. So let's just get that in first of all. So let me stop. Leaking brake fluid, and good job. So that's in. Sorry, you didn't get to see that. I'm really I'm trying to stop the leaking. All right, and that's that's the top end. So this is what it looks like, all hooked up. Here's the the bottom part, right here, 14 millimeter on the caliper, and. Here's the mount bracket portion, and here's the top portion. We just slide the clip on, just like we did on the back. Here's the 17 millimeter you hold while you tighten your 10 millimeter. And that is the front stainless steel brake line, all installed. Now all we have to do is breed the air out of the lines. It looks like we're in luck. So as soon as I finished the last brake line, my wife came out and got up. So I guess she's going to help us bleed the air out of the lines, and we don't have to do it by ourselves. So the first thing you want to do when you're going to bleed a brake system is you want to make sure you top off your brake fluid reservoir like so. so we'll put a little bit of that in there. Make sure that's full. And you want to do this after each 
line. You don't want to start doing it and then go from line to line. You want to do one and then top it off. Again. Next thing you do after you top it off, the other person gets in the car and then I will go to the back and open and close the line to let the air out as she presses the pedal. So let's go to the back of the car because you want to start at the farthest line from the master cylinder uh, reservoir. You want to go for the, to the farthest point first, do the two rears, and then do okay, the two. So my wife's getting dressed. So while she gets dressed, I'm gonna do the other three. This is the tool you would use. I have a, a line going into this little container. I have a line going to the back to the connector here. If you can see that, because I can't quite get back there. And you open the connector back there on the caliper first. And then when you pump this, get back so you can see, you pump this, it creates suction. You guys can hear it. And it will pull fluid all the way through the system from the reservoir tank here to the caliper. And it will bleed the air out of the system. So I'm going to do the first three like this. And then when, when and if she comes out, I'll do one the manual way. All right, so the wife came back out and she's in the car. She's camera shy, so she wanted want anybody to see her. So you might hear her voice, but she don't want you to see her face. So we're gonna open this valve now. She's putting pressure on the pedal. And we should get either some air, or some bubbles, some skirting out of this valve. Open it. There we go. Ooh. All right. And close it up. Okay. Now let the pedal up and then push it back down. Hold down. You should go to the floor. Okay. Up. Push it down. Okay. And how does it feel? Does it feel firm? Good job. Okay, so we'll do the other side now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're on the left side. The rear and put pressure on the pedal piece. I'm pushing down. Pushing down. Right, so now we're going to open up. Slowly, it should go to the floor. There it goes. Alright. Let the pedal up. Okay, press back down, put pressure, and I'm opening. Okay, now pump the pump the pedal a couple of times, good. Pump, pump, and hold it, and press hard. It's coming, should go down. All right, let it up. Press on the pedal, feel firm. Okie doke. And that's how you bleed bricks. Thanks for watching.